With modern aircraft, we possess the technology to fly safely and confidently in the sky. We have realized mankind's dream to fly like the birds with ease and control. Pilots see things like no one else. Our perspective changes when we learn to fly. Once we know how to control our aircraft, knowing whether to fly is an important safety concept every time we fly. Weather is part of everyone's life every day. It has a major impact on all plants and animals. Weather determines whether we thrive or perish. It can be gentle and soothing. It can be extreme and devastating. My name is Paul Hamilton. I'm going to show you the Weather to Fly system specifically designed for sport pilots. Learning Weather to Fly first allows you to determine whether it's safe to fly. Second, it allows you to fly with confidence because it will help you understand what the air will be like and why the air is doing what it's doing. We are going to cover the five steps of the Weather to Fly system. The first step is the information resources preparation. This is where you look at your available weather assets to determine the overall weather in your region along with local forecasts. We are going to cover how to get the best weather information fast and easy. The second step is to observe the weather conditions at your local site where you plan on flying. Here we will learn to observe winds, clouds, and terrain features. Once we assemble the weather information gathered, we must make the decision of whether to fly. Here we will take into consideration our state of mind, experience, plus our aircraft capabilities and limitations. If everything looks good, the fourth step is to fly and utilize the information gathered to make our flight safe and enjoyable. The fifth and final step is to compare our experiences from the flight with our predictions and the actual observed conditions while we flew. Was the air like we expected? Did anything happen that we did not understand? Would we fly in that type of air again? Did we feel comfortable flying in that type of air? What caused the type of air we flew in? Asking and evaluating these questions completes the final step in the Weather to Fly system.